Hey guys, what's up? It's the Snake Dude King Fortin here, and today is after quite a while going to be my December 2016 Reptile Room tour. So let's finish off 2016 strong with a great Reptile Room tour. I've got some pretty cool stuff I want to show you guys. No new additions, sadly, but there's been so many updates with the animals. It's gonna quite surprise you, as well as today just so happens to be a feeding day for my snakes. So. You guys get to see some snakes eat, you'll get an update of all the animals I've got, and overall, I just hope you guys enjoy this video. So let's get straight into it. So for the purposes of this video, I'm actually going to be doing my animals in sort of a little bit of a nifty order. I know at my last September Reptile Room video, I finished reptile-wise with her, and for those of you that are new viewers, might not know, this is my Chinese Water Dragon Harriet. She lives in this built enclosure that I have. I built it with my dad. How I built it, I will leave a link in the description below. For those of you wondering, her tank is four feet long, two feet deep, and five feet tall. And this gives her plenty of room to run around. At the moment, she is basking. She's such a pretty lizard. Look at the green on her. And, oh man, I just... I love her to death. She's such a personable lizard. I just missed at her too, as you can see the... Uh, like little dry area of her forest tile background. I did add, what are they called? The, uh, the zoo med backgrounds on the back of her tank. And then I decorated it with a bunch of leaves and such. And although her uh, tank runs on a fog machine, I like to mist her down with some warm water just so she does get the opportunity to drink some solid water. She was actually just drinking off of the leaves earlier. And yeah, that is her. She's a really cool lizard. But yeah, overall though, uh, a lot of people I know, I mentioned a while back that this will be my next video. But I figured you guys really do deserve a reptile room tour. So I will promise I will be making this soon actually. Uh, may, it'll probably be my next video. Although I might actually be doing uh, a gecko room tour of my gecko breeding project with my friend. So that'll be sort of cool to see. So let's go on to the next reptile. So next up, for those of you guys that might not know, this is the female Harley Quinn Crested Gecko. Her name is Jazz. She is currently about 8 months old now, and she is currently residing in this 12 by 12 by 18 Exoterra. It's well decorated. I've got like fake plants and stuff in there. She's got her Zoomed combo meter on the side as well as food and water, and she is actually sitting right there. You can see she's sitting up against the leaves, just re relaxing. Camera will focus. There we go. She's a pretty girl. She's chilling out. But yeah, otherwise, this is her setup. Uh, I believe my last two videos ago was actually how I set up this tank. It's a great video for those of you that are interested in keeping crested geckos in the future. And overall, I mean, I just I love her tank setup. If, again, there's the camera back in focus. It's a Nice setup, I've got this really cool, the uh, Exoterra day and night LED, so it switches to night, off, and then day, and I like that a lot, because even though crested geckos are nocturnal, they still like a dim amount of light to see in the dark, and that provides just enough so she can see and jump around without being in total blackness. But yeah, overall that is the crested gecko. So before we get to the snakes, I figured for the last lizard of the reptile collection, here we have Rocky, the bearded dragon. He is currently in brumation, actually, so he's sort of going through his lazy streak, you could say. I'm going to try and get around here so you guys can see him. He is sitting under his log right there. He's a big boy, just relaxing, enjoying himself. But for those of you wondering again, Rocky, he is a male citrus pastel German giant bearded dragon, so he's actually quite large compared to your normal size beardy. But as you can see, he's just relaxing back there. Oh, there he is. He's looking at us. He says hello. But yeah, that is Rocky. So let's move on to our snakes and see some feedings. Okay, guys. So now we're moving on to the snakes. And as I said in the beginning, I'm going to be feeding them. So in this tank, this is my 55-gallon. This is an old fish tank. I converted it into a glass terrarium for my corn snake, Vegas. He is an adult male okatee, and I'm going to be giving him a large mouse. Or no, this is actually jumbo. So I'll do is I'll get on the tweezers. And he's in this log, actually. So um, uh, what I'll do is I'll put it in front. He'll hopefully jump out after it. But yeah, so what I'll do is I'll... I'm 
sometimes you keep this one more, I don't know. Vegas. Come on. I'm gonna try and put it by the tail and just drop the mouse in front of his hole. Man, he always smells it just in time. Well, that's one way to grab a mouse, isn't that? Sorry, my uh, cameraman, I think, got a mini heart attack there. <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, that's Vegas. And quite an entry was that. As you can see, though, he has an Okatee. He has that gorgeous orange and red coloration. <laughs> I'm still sort of laughing from that. <laughs> I mean, like I said, he'll jump right out and he'll grab it. And uh, it just takes some time to persuade him. So let's move on to his uh, brother, Hash, which is my other corn snake. Okay, guys, so here's Hash, my second male oak tea. As you can see, he was sitting in his cool side hide, or uh, what's left of it. He always likes to kick the top of it off. That's also a moist hide, but he knows he's getting fed. Hash. Yeah, there he goes. He'll go right for it. I just want to, I'll get him over here. Hash. Come on. Oh, he's excited. There he goes, up, oh, into the back. Shake that tail a bit for him. <laughs> and he's constricting it. Wow, he got a good coil on that. He was hungry, clearly. <laughs> oh, wow, he's really wrapping that one up. Wow, look at him go. And that's the other thing I love about corn snakes, guys, is, you know, they have that gorgeous checkered belly right here. And you can see that as he's squeezing the life out of his already dead mouse. <laughs> but, yeah. So, that is Hash, my small male oak tea. As you can tell, he's a little bit uh, thinner at, compared to Vegas, but he's a genetic runt, actually, so he was just born skinny that way. He still eats like a champ, as you can see, and overall, that is him. So, that is going to conclude our reptile section of the tour. Now, I'll get on to showing you my fish and my roach colony. Okay, guys, so I figured I haven't shown this before, but this is my 20-gallon fish tank. And I am aware that there are some other reptile keepers who keep fish, Nick's Exotics being one of them. Shout out to him. He has a really cool fish tank, actually. I love it how he has more of a tropical river setup, and he's got some larger species. I believe it's a 75-gallon. I'm not sure. Anyway, you'll have to search his channel up because he's got a pretty sick fish tank, as well as another Chinese water dragon, which, of course, I'm always a fan of. But anyway, I have mine set up, so it's a little bit more set up for Glowfish or the... Uh, cool fluorescent ones that you put under black light got a uh, mini volcano there it's slowly bubbling and then there's the albino algae eater albino catfish a bunch of other cool pretty little tetras and danios and then in the back right there up against the filter that is the uh the really big striped raphael catfish so yeah i figured i'd show them quickly again just because uh I made it sort of a cool tank. You got all the glow rocks and everything scattered along the bottom. And overall, it's just a pretty cool tank setup. So let's finish up the tour with my infamous Dubia colony. So yeah, guys, to quickly sum things up with my roach colony, I've actually added more cardboard in here because the colony has grown so much. Uh, there isn't as much under here. But like if I lift up for, say, a, uh, a middle tab like this. Ugh. Sometimes hard to, yeah, there you go, that gives you an idea. I do have quite a lot of them. They're breeding like crazy. They're all over the place. I mean, and of course, me, this is exactly what I want. I want a ton of roaches. And I, ooh, that one just molted, actually, so it has a white exoskeleton. But yeah, so that's pretty much how things are going in my roach colony. Again, nothing super new, but still kind of cool to look at. I mean, I like my roach colony a lot, and although, sure, I do use them as feeders, they're sort of pets to me as well. I do like taking care of them. So, let's wrap up this video. So, yeah, guys, that wraps up the reptile room video. I figured I'd end it here with Harriet on my shoulder to say goodbye to y'all. If you like the video, leave a like, and if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it, and always, always, guys, comment below what you thought of the video, and if you have any requests, I'll be glad to film them for you. If you want to see more feeding videos, setups, anything, me and Harriet here will be gladly to do it, as well as the snakes. They're just not out because they're busy digesting their mice. So anyway, guys, I will see you in the next video, and peace out.
See ya.